So tell us uh, one ideal characteristic of your Envision Cyprus. Well, to be honest, uh, I I can I can envision many more ideal characteristics rather than one is a difficult decision. But for me, one of the things that stands out is that if the reconciliation and trust between the two communities, the Greek and the Turkish Cypriot, it will not be limited to that because I think prejudice in Cyprus is a lot more beyond Greek and Turkish Cypriots. I mean, there are Turkish immigrants up north and down south. There are people from Arab countries and asylum seekers. And I would just like people to understand that for all humans, in Cyprus is not beyond, it's beyond Greek and Turkish Cypriots many more problems and I, need, and I want a new Cyprus to go beyond Greek and Turkey Cyprus and deal with other forms of racism and prejudice in the island, both in the north and the south. In what way we should think we can achieve that? Well, we, one way we can achieve that, I believe, is uh, changing the educational system. Like, for example, uh, perhaps, like, for example, in primary schools and schools in general, just great Turkish Cypriot, there are children from Russia, there are children from Syria. So therefore we could learn, they could incorporate some of their culture in the curriculum, for example, maybe in the history lesson, we could teach maybe a Syrian history or history from Pakistan or for example art lessons. We can show them Pakistani art or Syrian art and children can draw them. And in, you may not be saying direct you must reconcile this and that, but just by exposing them to a different culture, it shows something positive and it just reinforces the fact that we shouldn't teach each other.